Hello everybody, I have two name brand handbag boxes. We're gonna see which one is better. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real, Marketplace, Trade Z. I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan. I'm a volleyball coach, player, and I love Disney. So we're going to get into these boxes. They are ThreadUp mystery boxes, which you can go on their website through the browser. You can search in the shop tab and then go under deals and you will see all of their rescue boxes that they have that you can get. Some of them are way harder to get than others. For example, these name brand handbags are pretty hard to get, as well as the designer box. Sometimes the coach boxes can be hard. They also have designer men's, which I haven't got yet. That's four pieces for like over $100. It averages out to like $30 per piece. Let me know if you've got that one before, what you thought of it. Um, and they have DIY, like um, Rent the Runway. Those ones are also hard to get, but anyway. So I had three of them sitting around and I know I have a shoe box coming. So I figured for this week's video, I could do um, two boxes and we could see which one's better. I was doing that every time for a while, but then I realized like I was kind of spending more than I wanted to. So I started just doing one at a time. So anyway, these are the name brand handbag boxes. They're a hundred dollars for five. One of them is usually an accessory. I always make my money back on these. Sometimes I make really, really good profit. So We'll get into it. I just had a bag that sold for over $100 for my last coach box. So if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that and hit the like button. I'll have that in next Friday's What Sold video. Okay, let me give you a top look of this first bag. This is going to be bag number one. So we see a Kate Spade here, which I get a lot in these bags. I'm also starting to slowly experiment sending bags back into ThreadUp. So we will see based on comps what I do with all of these. Okay, so this is a Kate Spade. It's kind of like a light brown or tan, like pebbled leather. Not really pebbled leather. It has like, see those little like texturized dots? Like handbag. Oh no. My power just went off. Okay, obviously I'm gonna have to stop this video. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. <laughs> so yeah, my power just went off, but it came back on. It was off for like an hour. So I took a shower and just like browsed on TikTok. So <laughs> we're just going to get right back into this. I think I was talking about this Kate Spade. It's like a texturized polka dot tan purse. The inside looks like it's pretty clean. So that's really cute. It has a couple compartments and then a zipper in the middle. Um, yeah, that's clean as well. Now there's supposed to be a little tag somewhere, I think, with a number. So I can find the style of it. There's like this tag, but I don't know if that ever got clear. I don't think the number, like I know what they're talking about with clothes and stuff. There's like an extra little tag behind this. But I don't see this on here. So I don't know. Since it's so clean, it could be one to try to send back to them. Maybe. We'll see what I decide to do. Here's the accessory. It's a little wristlet, Kate Spade black leather wristlet. It looks like it has one like weird little spot right up there. I don't know if I'll be able to like clean it off or like leather dye it, but the like hardware is kind of tarnished. So it's not in like the best condition, but it's still okay. So it has a spot in here for like credit cards and stuff. And then there's a front zipper. So this will probably only sell for like 20 bucks or so, but I could probably sell it quick if I price it low enough. We have this Michael Kors, oops, brown leather bag. I don't know the style name of this. If you know anything, like if you know style names of any of these in these videos, tell me in the comments because my Google lens doesn't work and it would save me time. I mean, if you wanna be nice. Thank you. <laughs> Here's what the top looks like. Let's see, okay, so it has a little card. And it has this strap, which looks like it was never used because it still has that on there. So I'm trying to figure out, was the whole bag used? Yeah, it definitely was. Because you can see in the bottom, I mean, it's not bad, but you can see that it was worn. Um, and then this is what the sides look like. So that's pretty nice still. Michael Michael Kors. 
bag. Um, the handles are kind of worn, I'm noticing too. I don't know if you can see from this angle. Like, they're kind of dirty, but I don't know if I can clean that off or probably not. It's probably just like wear. So we'll see what this one goes for. I don't know, I'm thinking like 40 or so because of the wear. Okay, so we have this, which normally like I wouldn't be excited about, but with what's in fashion right now, this could possibly be good. Um, it's a little Dooney and Burke, like heart print purse. Here's the charm. Um, yeah, it's leather. Let's see what the inside is like. The inside is blue and it looks pretty clean. It has this little, what do you even call this? Hook for your keys or something. There's like a tiny little pocket right there. We don't know what that's for. Um, yeah, and here's the little tag for Dooney that you like want to look out for, for authenticity inside there. So. I have no idea, but with Y2K and all that stuff being really big right now, it could be good. So I think I'm going to try to sell this myself. Maybe. I'll look up comps. But that's good. And then my last one is my favorite kind of purses. One of my favorite kind of purses to get in these bags is this big Tory Burch brown leather tote. Anything that has the big Tory logo does really well for me. This is in really nice condition. I mean, it has some wear, but there's no spots or scuffs or really anything like that. Um, let's see. So it has Tory Burch written on these little, like, this little hardware. This is nice. Here's the inside. Very clean. Couple pockets there. The logo and another zipper pocket there. This is super nice. This is my favorite bag. I probably can make at least $100 on this, which means I'll basically have a profit with the rest of the box. So yeah, okay, box one, Tory Burch, Tote, Dooney, like Y2K purse, Michael Kors, tan leather purse, Kate Spade wristlet, and Kate Spade purse. Okay, let me get into the second box. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad my power went back on because then I'm like, crap, I need to do my shipping still today. I was like, ah, luckily it wasn't too bad. Okay, here's the next one. Let me just double check to make sure it's name brand. Yes, it is. So, um, I don't know. I have another box over there too that I'll probably, I might put it out like as a bonus video in the middle of the week or I might just put it out for the following Sunday. Okay, here we go for the top look of this. You're gonna be able to see a couple pretty easy there. So here's the accessory, a little Dooney and Burke wristlet. This is a cute style. I've never seen this before. Um, it looks to be in like really good condition. The hardware isn't tarnished or anything. How does this open? Oh, you like push this and that's how that opens. That's so cute. That's so cute. I don't know what that goes for. This would be a really good time to have Google Lens. But, you know, I don't. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll put in, like, green, I don't know, leather wristlet and see if I can pop up and see what that's worth. Okay, another Dooney, like, I'm thinking Y2K style bag. This is perfect for summertime. Oh, my gosh. Somebody will love this, I think. Why well, I was laughing because I'm like, oh, my gosh, I would never. I would never. But I also am like not very girly this one does have like some stains in the bottom so i don't know if that will affect the value we'll see yeah otherwise it's kind of cool with like the beach print so i'll have to look that up and see what that goes for okay thread up uh to me yes please this is amazing. Where's my scissors? So here we go. I think these are on here for authenticity. Okay, this is a Tumi, like crossbody floral purse. This is cute. Here's the fob. Now I am noticing a little bit of spots in the front, but I wonder if this is material that I can wash 
I don't know if you guys can really see it. Like there's something right here. It's really faint, so it's not very noticeable. But this is exciting. I got a Toomey backpack once in a thread-out box and it sold really good for around $150. Um, it's got this pocket with the uh, like Creed or whatever. I mean, there's not a number like Coach, but just helps for authenticity. And then the front pocket looks like this. That's exciting to me. Purse. I don't, again, no idea what this goes for, but yay. I will definitely take that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Brown leather. This is Michael Kors. Okay, Michael Kors. Brown, big leather bag with the chain handle. It's not really crossbody though. It's not that long. But it does seem to be in really nice condition. There's a little bit of like white spot up there, but I think I can just get that off. The bottom looks pretty good. Let's see the inside. Pretty clean on the inside. Lots of pockets and zipper pouches. I always check to make sure nothing's in there. Not this little thing again. Okay, so that seems nice. I don't know how much this goes for because it feels like good quality and it doesn't look like it's very worn. So it could be a good bag to sell. Okay, and here's the last one. This is a big, kind of looks very old style. Kate Spade striped tote, ethic fabric. It has a tie here on the sides. Um, teal interior. I'm not super excited about this one, so I might send this one back to thread up and see if I can sell it on there for more, just so I don't have to store it. Although I don't know, because there's a couple little spots. So maybe not. I'm trying to like, when I'm sending them back in purses, I'm trying to, like a really faint one right there, to not send anything that has flaws. It says Kate Spade, New York at the bottom because typically they don't accept stuff with flaws, but I know sometimes they do. So who knows? So I'm probably gonna sell that myself. Okay, so this box number two is this Kate Spade striped tote, Michael Kors brown leather. To me, floral purse, which is probably my favorite. This Dooney bag. I'm excited to look up comps on those Dooneys. And then this little Dooney wristlet. So let me know down in the comments below, what was your favorite box, box one or box two? And eventually, you know, once I sell all these, it might be fun to do a follow-up video. I should start doing that with some of my older videos and let you guys know what stuff sells for because I know some people ask me if these boxes are worth it. So that could be good and interesting to know. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys again soon with another video. Bye.